essentially animals go extinct because they're not adapting and evolving to meet whatever the circumstances are in their environment. And so that can either happen in sort of the long term and is just tends to be part of this sort of natural process that essentially things either evolve into different species or speciate or change um, or they go extinct if they're sort of end up in a rut or that they're not changing with the environment. So the, when you think about the catastrophic events, you know, a meteor strikes the earth and there's a big cloud of dust and most animals are dependent on sunlight and photo synthesis and green plants and with those things changing essentially overnight there's no opportunity for animals to evolve and adapt to, to meet those changes. With the actions that humans are doing right now on the earth is having the sort of equivalent rate of species extinction as the earth experienced when a meteor hit the earth and wiped out the dinosaurs and that essentially we're creating all these um, artificial um, pressures that are relatively sudden that, that species just don't have time to evolve and change and adapt to in order to survive. And so there are estimates right now that you know something like between 25 and 50 percent of the species that are on earth are going to be extinct in the next 10 to 20 years because of the pressures that humans are putting on the environment through overfishing, habitat loss, um, poaching, the introduction of um, what we refer to as invasive species, so animals that don't belong in a certain environment going there, um, as well as the sort of mother of all problems um, being climate change. So it's really the bottom line is that most of the most of the animals that are currently facing extinction, they're facing it because of things that we have done or that we are doing, um, which therefore implies that we could potentially turn those things around um, from changing some of our behaviors.